What's up chats? Today we got a lot of news out of our hands. We got some good news and uh, we also got people mad guys. Uh, I mean it's 2020 so of course we cannot escape from that. We got some massive news for the Call of Duty 2020. Needless to say, the reveal is nigh, and I'm surely gonna be live streaming, so definitely yeah, turn those notifications on and all that good stuff. But uh, uh, we also got some major PS5 and Xbox games announcements. So with that, I just wanna get right into it. There's a ton to talk about. Of course, if you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news, so burn the party, subscribe, Cardo. And our first story is a little bit wild, and if you are somebody who plays on the Xboxes, Please don't laugh, okay? Let's hug it out. I understand the Roni situation is still strong, but let's uh, not fight over consoles, okay, guys? But this is what we're hearing, and keep in mind, this is just a word on the street, all right? And we know that PS5 SSD is gonna be 825 gigs, and I guess that all of you know deep down that it's not really gonna be 825 gigs. You know, the system software is gonna take somewhat of it, maybe like 20 gigs, maybe 50 gigs, like on like the high ball or the high tier, uh, but nobody's expecting it to take 175 gigs and that's exactly what this report is saying this report says that it's gonna be reserving 175 gigabytes for the system software and gonna leave you with 650 gigabytes now if you have this game installed on your system right ladies and gentlemen this game requires 200 and billion gigabytes keep in mind we're getting a new call of duty game this holiday season right and it's gonna be on next gen consoles now just imagine modern warfare is like almost 200 gigs on the current gen console now imagine a new call of duty game but on ps5 and xbox series x needless to say it's gonna eat up the whole <laughs> ssd and i really hope that call of duty give us like those free hard drives i mean some would say that this is a fresh meme straight out of the oven and indeed it is but ladies and gentlemen i think that they gotta give everybody those hd smash the like button if you wanna see those free hard drives be thrown with call of duty 2020 but we're hearing that sony filed a new patent and it is hinting at a new impressive ps5 dualsense controller feature and this was described by jargon this is like a sony pony guy he says that the dualsense will have one or more sensors throughout it whenever someone picks the controller up these sensors will transmit telemetry data to the ps5 allowing it to identify the person holding the controller so it will know that your name is bob and they will know when bob picks the controller up when bob like leaves the controller alone or whenever bob charges the controller it will know and that's exactly what this report is saying and i'm not sure if you guys heard about this or not but there was another pattern that was filed like months ago that said that it's also gonna be able to detect your heart rate and i'm like hey dog like imagine this right bob picks the controller up He's playing a new, like, next-gen Call of Duty game that got heavy, thick skill-based matchmaking. He's sweating his nuts off in the game. He's getting shit on. People are nuking the guy. People are dropping those baby powder streaks, you know, by the name of White Fa. I, I cannot say that word on YouTube, right? Let's just say the heavy skill-based matchmaking got up to him and it's raising his heart rate, right? And just imagine, right? The game tells other people your heart rate status. You want to know how many people would tear apart Bob in the lobbies? I don't think you guys have any idea. On the other hand, Phil Spencer was caught wilding, and I know that some people would say, hey man, like Xbox, Epic Games, all of them are doing helicopters with their willies, but I disagree, guys, and this is what Phil Spencer said. Today we filed a statement in support of Epic's request to keep access to the Apple SDK for its Unreal Engine. Ensuring that Epic has access to the latest Apple technology is the right thing for gamer developers and gamers. And he put out like this statement out here and these are like official documents man, nothing to fool around with so they also countered it and they went in pretty hard at Apple and personally man, I'm, I'm with Epic in this situation. I know that some people would say Epic has been caught doing helicopters with their release and surely they have. Like they have been anti-consumer as well. Even Apple has been anti-consumer. Both of these companies have been anti-consumer. But if Apple wins, you guys remember the Unreal Engine demo footage that we saw? This has been utilized by a bunch of game devs in the industry. So that's, I'm not sure what's exactly going to happen to that, right? Like I'm sure they put a lot of effort in creating that. It would be sad to see that go away or, you know, not being used or whatever the case may be so in this situation i personally am with epic so it's nice to see that phil spencer was caught wilding also during that dc fandom event we actually saw the new batman game but without batman they're calling it gotham Knights. so i mean i don't want to really go at the homies over at wb games montreal but it's still sad dog like they actually showed gameplay i want you guys to understand that in the climate of like cgi everybody liked those cgi right and the fact that they showed gameplay 
that's amazing right you know like credit where it's due and i gotta be honest i can let everything slide right like the game looks kind of good i know that some people said that the graphics are poo poo but the graphics are pretty decent they they are not that bad and i really love the vibes right of course it has that batman vibes 110 percent but the only thing i'm sad about is just no batman i think the reason i am sad about it is because i went in with the expectations of us seeing batman and when i saw no batman i got erectile dysfunction okay let me put it that way speaking of rocksteady game this game showed the cgi but i'm on this game okay i'm most likely gonna cop this game like you know it's gonna be coming out in 2022 the cgi looks pretty nice and this game is only gonna be on ps5 and xbox series x and pc so personally i think that the graphics are gonna be good we're talking about rocksteady it's gonna be a next gen game gonna be coming out in 2022 so there is no way the graphics are gonna be bad but surely we need gameplay for this game and i think it's gonna happen next year but the selling point about this game was definitely superman right like let's be real like i'm a huge superman fan and some people said that uh he looks like john cena i do see some similarities but personally i like this game i dig this game and speaking of a disaster now i really don't want to meme on like crisis remaster or anything like that i know that a bunch of you guys are pretty hard for this game but i gotta be honest after watching the trailer they put out i got soft we're hearing that it was, this game is gonna be coming out on 18th of september and crisis was a massive game back i believe in 2010 or whenever this game first came out i believe 2011 or 2010 it was a massive game right the graphics were just next gen around that time and looking back it's not that bad but here's the thing the devs announced the fact that we're gonna be getting the trailer like a month or two ago it got leaked a day prior to it getting revealed and you know people just went crazy at them people were just not stopping people were calling them names people were like hey man this looks like a demaster version i don't want it and personally you know i see why people were saying it because i've actually seen the leaked trailer and it did not look that good so they delayed it and apparently they put out this tech trailer and they are saying that it's gonna have 8k textures and you know what i'm all up for it but i gotta be honest to my naked eye it doesn't look like a rematch it feels like that the right side is like a ps3 version and the left side that's like the actual remaster version it feels like that it's the pc port rather than like a remaster version i'm not sure the gameplay might be better i'll put it that way definitely let me know your thoughts below speaking of call of duty 2020 we ended up seeing another teaser today and it says that real conspiracies are in theories pretty dark stuff and for sure yesterday we saw like this teaser where it says that a lie is a powerful weapon i'm gonna skip it right here i know that as black lady one said nobody got time for that so here we go that was the teaser they dropped yesterday and this was the new teaser they dropped today and i suspect that tomorrow we're gonna get another one and then another one and then we're gonna get the reveal and i'm surely gonna live stream so definitely turn those notifications on but speaking of leaks all right we got two leaks that i want to talk about in this video the first one actually comes from prototype warehouse this man okay i want you guys to understand that this man is a living legend this guy was behind leaking that red door alpha he leaked those eight multiplayer maps that we're gonna be getting in this game but he did a mine modern warfare and warzone recently and he discovered open beta confrontations weapons pack and woods operator in the game files and surely woods has been in the game files for a long long time i actually made a video about it like months ago at this point and we even have like the sound files the audio files and all of that so it really seems like that woods is gonna be a pre-order bonus but at the end of the day don't get hit in your g-spot just treat this as a rumor all right like I'm gonna put it that way he also discovered that there is season one battle pass bundle in the game files of warzone and this makes sense right because the next game is gonna be connected with warzone so the fact that they got season one battle pass already in the game files I mean that's a good indicator that they are ready and they are kind of ahead in the development process he also discovered land air and sea pack and this reminds me of battlefield 4 marketing where they said that land air and sea I'm not sure I know that like if this game is like Battlefield people, Call of Duty fans are gonna be mad, right? But the fact that it mentions land, air, and sea, I think that's gonna be for Warzone. But at this point, nobody knows what this means exactly. I'm hyped to see what it's gonna be, right? Like at this point, the reveal is nigh. We're just two days away from this, right? So if you're new, like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep all of you chat muffins in the loops. Click on our video on the screen. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine and I will see you right there. Stead Muffin Nelp.